One of the most delicate moments in space travel is the return to Earth. If it's a crewed mission, the launch itself can also be extremely delicate, as it's the moment when ignition is given to large amounts of fuel. However, atmospheric re-entry can be even more challenging since the spacecraft hits the air at more than supersonic speeds. One instance where we see this happening is when astronauts return from the International Space Station. Believe it or not, images have been recorded both inside and outside the spacecraft. In today's video, we're going to re-enter the atmosphere from an astronaut's perspective. Pay close attention to these images. They're real footage captured by Earth-based cameras from the outside, showing how high speeds can make the air incandescent, glowing intensely like a meteor. During a SpaceX flight, the images revealed something simply unbelievable. The company managed to get a video signal right when the spacecraft reached thousands of degrees, forming an impressive plasma bubble. While these re-entry images aren't exactly new, there's still a perspective that you probably haven't seen. Re-entry from inside the spacecraft, showing what astronauts see and feel. But how exactly does returning from space work? Believe it or not, it's not just about falling. Things don't simply fall back to Earth due to a balance between two forces, gravity and orbital velocity. To keep an object in orbit, we need to balance gravity, which tries to pull it down, and orbital speed, which tries to push it away, creating a sort of gravitational tug of war. This keeps the object's path around the planet stable. Each orbit has a specific speed. For instance, in low Earth orbit, where the International Space Station is located, the necessary speed to stay stable is approximately 28,000 kilometers per hour. To return to Earth, it's a matter of gradually slowing down until the altitude decreases and the object enters the atmosphere, a process that is both extremely dangerous and quick. The higher the speed, the greater the atmospheric drag, which can compromise the spacecraft's structure before it reaches the surface. Images of space debris entering the atmosphere illustrate the power of air drag at high speeds, with satellite and rocket fragments glowing until they are almost entirely vaporized before hitting the ground. When it involves astronauts' return, safety is paramount, and the capsules are specially prepared. They're equipped with a heat shield made of highly resistant material that can handle extreme temperatures and efficiently dissipate heat protecting the capsule's interior during re-entry when the atmosphere generates temperatures comparable to the sun's surface. Additionally, these capsules are designed to be aerodynamically stable during re-entry, helping maintain the correct orientation, minimizing stress on the structure, and facilitating heat dissipation until a large parachute deploys, ensuring a safe landing on solid ground or water. Footage from various re-entries clearly demonstrates this process and how dangerous it can be. Inside the spacecraft, it's a different story because astronauts have no idea what's happening outside. We have two fascinating records showing what happens inside the capsule during re-entry. The complete process takes about 25 minutes, although it's shorter in the footage captured by cosmonaut Oleg Artemyev and his colleagues, which we'll watch next. In the video recorded in 2021, re-entry is shown from an internal perspective, showing a few details like the glow of plasma through the window. You'll notice how the capsule shakes, the sound of air impact, and other details like the parachute's deployment. It's impressive how calm astronauts remain during such moments, after all, they're trained for this. Outside, the capsule faces considerable air resistance resulting in extreme heat due to a phenomenon known as adiabatic compression. In this process, the capsule compresses Earth's atmosphere in front of it, and when a gas is compressed, it heats up. During re-entry of capsules like Orion or Starship, the speed is so high that it causes significant compression generating extremely high temperatures. 
Interestingly, these spacecraft can have a thermal shield capable of withstanding nearly 1,400 degrees Celsius, which is truly impressive. Inside, the temperature remains like a typical environment. Outside, it's as hot as some stars. But you may not have noticed a detail. Why are the astronauts wearing suits if the capsule is pressurized and there's an atmosphere inside? The answer is simple, pure safety. To date, only three space-related deaths have been documented caused by a pressurization system failure in the Soyuz spacecraft. If, for any adverse reason, there's a failure in the pressurization system, the suits are already capable of keeping astronauts alive. Imagine something happening at very high altitudes near vacuum and the capsule suffers, say, a puncture. This would cause extremely rapid decompression. If the crew members weren't in pressurized suits, decompression would make them lose consciousness quickly. In case of a water landing, the risk of drowning is also reduced with pressurized suits. Thus, safety during the process must be ensured from the outside to the inside. But this wasn't the only internal footage. In another crewed capsule, astronaut Mike Hopkins was on board the Soyuz and also captured images of plasma filaments passing through the window. This time, the mission was returning from the International Space Station, offering a different, faster angle of re-entry. Inside the capsule, the astronaut felt the spacecraft shaking as it faced air resistance. Simultaneously, outside, plasma glowed around the capsule, creating the stunning images we're watching on screen. A perspective that's both fascinating and terrifying, showing how our atmosphere acts as a true protector against space dangers, burning almost everything that dares to fall here. Re-entry videos captured throughout the history of space exploration, whether from inside or outside the spacecraft, are truly impressive. These records are undeniable proof of the bravery of these astronauts. But what about you? Would you be up for re-entering Earth's atmosphere at 28,000 km per hour? Comment below. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like, it's super important. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, I invite you to hit that subscribe button below. See you next time.